be here later. He obviously hasn't come back. Well, did he say what he wanted? No, but he was very interested in a Bell Taylor, the photojournalist from the paper. Could be the opportunity you've been looking for, love. She already has a satin pillow from the Breast Cancer Foundation people, so I thought I'd get her some comfy pyjamas and just about every single women's magazine they have in the market. It's the truth. <laughs> and I thought I was spoiling her with a box of chocolates. <laughs> I just know what a girl needs when she's going through chemo. Why don't you go through and I'll be in in a sec. Oh, sure. Hello, Rachel. Good morning. Alf told me the good news about you and Tony getting back together again. I'm sure it doesn't matter to you what I think, but I just want you to know that I'm really glad. I never meant to come between two people that were still in love. Thank you. I think it's really great that you're looking out for Martha also. I, I overheard you talking about your own battle with cancer yesterday, and, and I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, well, I'm in remission. One of the lucky ones, eh? Thank you for doing that for Bridget, Grandad. I'm sure she'll be a great asset. Yeah, yeah, I think she will too. Oh, and I've had a yarn to Tony. Uh, he and Rachel seem OK with it. Yeah, Rachel, she told us about it. Knock, knock, come in. Hi. Mm -hmm. Wow, you look fantastic. So much better than I did after my first round. <laughs> Here you go. Little care package for you. Careful, this uh, sleeping in business is going good to be a habit. Well, now that you're fully awake, maybe we can talk about last night. I should have to talk about it, I'll explain what happened. Charles, this is not the first time that you have got lost and refused to talk about it. All right, don't bring up Paris again. I was in a foreign city, I didn't speak the language. I'm sure there are hundreds of tourists get lost every day. Yes, I understood it then, but you're home now. You know your way around. I told you, my body's completely out of whack. But I stopped taking the sleeping tablet, so everything's going to be fine. Ross, I am really worried about you. You needn't be. <laughs> well, can't we talk about it? I mean, I'm worried because I think there's a hell of a lot more going on here. And you won't even acknowledge there's a problem. It's because there isn't any. Now, for God's sake, will you please stop nagging and let it be? for your help this morning, Dar. Oh. So what do you got planned for the rest of the day? Well, I thought I might take this home with me, mm -hmm. have a little read, maybe take my camera out for a walk and see what inspiration strikes. I'm very glad to hear that. Yeah, me too. Do you want to pose? <laughs> I didn't mean those kinds of photos, but thank you. See you, Ivory. See you, guys. Sure, because, you know, I'm, I'm happy with nudity, if that's your thing. Mm. But I've only got 15 minutes, so you're going to have to make it snappy. Get it? Snappy? Photos? Oh, yeah. Sorry, you forgot your phone. Oh, thank you. Now, that's more like it. Sorry? Yeah, looks like you're starting to get your spark back already. <laughs> so, where's Roman? Ah, uh, he's taken Nicole to Yabby Creek. She had a shoe emergency, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Give her a smoked ham and mustard sandwich. Oh, no, thank you. I didn't know you two were coming over here today. I rang and asked them over for lunch since I managed to spoil things so horribly last night. Um, well, Ross, we were actually supposed to go and see Martha today, if you remember, um, because we weren't able to get there yesterday. Well, why don't you go on ahead? I'll, I'll get Charlie to pop me up there after we've sat down and caught up a bit. If you don't mind, do you? No. Um, no, well, actually, I'd like you to come with me now. Ross, I thought we could ask one of the doctors what they prescribed for Jack Day while we were there. Sleeping plenty of it, I'd say. On second thoughts, um, tell Martha I'll pop in and see her at home. She's getting out later this afternoon, if my memory serves. Fine. See you later. Charlie, Bye. Daddy, is something going on with you two? Yeah, is this about last night? That's nothing. Morag's just a bit tense because she's concerned about Martha, that's all. Now, I have finally finished unpacking, so let me go and grab the things I got you both from Italy. If you want something 
something interesting to photograph, something that'll get people talking. I know just the place. And you would be? Murray Buchanan, Environment Officer for Wapunga Shire Council. The other guy that came to look for me before at the diner. Yeah, that's right. I went back there just now and Irene said that I'd find you here. So what do you want to see me about? Well, I know that you don't work at the paper anymore, but uh, somebody there gave me a name. Said that you took the photo of that uh, reverend uh, on the front page a while back. My reputation precedes me. I also know you did that piece on Sally Fletcher too, from the high school. Great. Any other horror stories, Michael, look, you'd like to bring up? There's something I thought you might like to do an article about. Look, I was just a cadet, besides I don't even work look, there. Look, there's a development going on. In the reserve next to the caravan park. Yeah, I think I've read something about ages ago. There's a lot you wouldn't have read. Things the council and the developers don't want anyone to know. Like what? Well, like the fact that the ground they're about to build all these luxury apartments on contains toxic waste. Harmful to people. No, that can't be right. They wouldn't be allowed to build on there otherwise. The council's turning a blind eye. The stuff that was dumped there shouldn't have been dumped there in the first place and they've been covering it up for years. Look, I'm going to try and put a stop to it. But to do that, I need someone like you to help me. How do you know all of this? Let's go and see the site. I'll explain everything on the way. It's had landfill in it for years. Everyone knows that. But what they don't know is that back in the 60s, some company paid the council to let them bury hundreds of gallons of toxic material here. Now, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to be living on top of it. There could be all kinds of harmful chemicals seeping up through the soil. So someone actually told you about the dump? My late uncle was mates with one of the councilmen back then. He told me about it. He said it was mostly rumour. But when I started asking questions at work, I kept getting shut down. So you don't actually have any proof? Not yet, no. But I just know that something's not right. Four times I've requested that soil test to be done on this site, and nothing's happened. That's unheard of. Especially when my own topsoil samples have returned trace elements of all kinds of nasty stuff. This is horrendous if it's true. This is why we have to try and spark some public interest. Try and get an investigation going. Make them dig up what's down there and find out. OK, but what do you want me to do? Well, you come in. There's the paper. I, I was fired from there, remember? And me and the editor aren't exactly friends. What? And they think I'm just trying to stir up trouble for one of their biggest advertisers. Look, the press isn't going to listen to me, but you. You're a photojournalist. A cadet, and like I said, I was. That doesn't matter. You can write, you can take photos. We're running out of time. Construction starts next week. But if we could get something into the press... Look, you can still take photos of landscapes, but this is a chance to be involved in something that could really affect people's future. I was just about to, yes, but um, I was wondering, could I have a private word with you before I do? Oh, absolutely, but she can probably answer most of your questions. The oncologist said that she's um, doing... No, it. actually, Rachel, it's not about Martha. It's about Ross. Um, look, I'm sure I'm probably overreacting, but I, I really think that you're about the only person... Rachel, need you back I... in recess. He's arresting. Sorry, Mom, I'll have to talk to you later. Come on, take it easy, OK? Any more, Hank? Hi, darling. Oh, I'm so sorry. I couldn't get in to see you yesterday. Hi, Jack. No, I'm all right. Can you believe this one's out of bed? Oh, stop it. I'm fine. Strike me run, woman. You're like a flaming ghost creeping up on me like that. Are you all right? Alf, I am. Um... Marie, what is it? What's happened? Um... It's Ross. What about him? He's not the same. This isn't the man I married. <laughs> 